online coverage is huge because there's no longer a time like you asked me, are there stories you can't cover because of the resources? We now can do it. We just will more likely do it online. We can get more feedback from viewers and immediately incorporate that, incorporate that into our news coverage. If our, we get a strong response from viewers on a story, we might follow up online with another response to the response. We might find a way to engage. We have an entire page on arts where we do just interview authors who we might not get to on the air, or poets. We do poetry. Who else does poetry? And we have a politics page, which allows us to delve a little more deeply into the weeds on the political stuff that otherwise you know, people go, oh, really, politics? And that's in the science page. So it's allowed us to actually put out almost like a, a, like a television newspaper where you can turn the page and there are different subjects. And that's what online has allowed us to do that we weren't able to do before. It was whatever we could get on the air between 6 and 7, and that was it. Now it never, it never stops. Do you feel that, that the online, the people that are discovering you online are now going to the show itself? That's what we're trying to do. That's what we're endeavoring to do. Uh, because obviously their online viewership is often more likely to be young and to be people who click from their phones. So we're going where they are. It's, you know, the future of journalism now is no longer, in television especially, is no longer we are going to come to you at 6 or 6.30 and watch the news and then we're going to go and do the rest of our lives. People have the headlines by the time they get to their dinner table. So we have to find a way to go where they are. Where, where do they get their information? Will they get it on their phone? We'll meet you on your phone. Do they get it on, on broadband on their laptop? Well, we're going to meet you there. And we have to find a way to do that in order to make ourselves relevant to the way people are getting their information. And to make clear, and this is one of my hobby horses, that they know the difference between information and news and that everything that they see on their browser when they open their Comcast account is not news. It's interesting and you might be able to hear about it. And if you care about animals on the loose in Ohio, you can find out all you want. But there's a lot of other things happening too. And that's what a serious news presence online can, if you want it, you can find it and we are there. So that's, that's really exciting. It is um, exciting. It must mean a lot more work for you, though. No, it doesn't yeah. really. I mean, it means I'm doing different kinds of things. It means I'm writing blogs or I'm doing online video chats. But it, what, it, what I think it really does is open up the world for a lot of people who might not otherwise have had an opportunity to write or to speak or to have be part of the, pro of the product. And so, yeah, it's a little bit more news work for us. But I think mostly it's just a better product for everybody.